What's good, y'all? This is the kid DC Wrestling back once again with another one like always, man. Final SmackDown before Money in the Bank. Overall, really good show, you know. I want to first talk about the picture here. Obviously, you know, Solo, Sokola, um explained, you know, why he did what he did. Um, not just what he did, what he did to Paul Heyman, but his actions since WrestleMania 40. I mean, pretty much saying that Roman Reigns wasn't man enough. He isn't man enough to carry the, the necklace. He isn't man enough to carry the position as head of the table. Roman Reigns is not man enough to even call himself the tribal chief. And if Roman Reigns, you know, wants all this shit, he can come back and take it from him. In Solo's words, you know. Um, you know, like I said, I really do think that the bloodline does go over tomorrow in the Money in the Bank premium live event, and it sets up Solo versus Cody at Money in the Bank. I mean, at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. Like I said in the preview, I know that isn't the route a lot of people want to go. A lot of people don't want it to go, but it really does seem like that's where we're really heading. Um, I also want to talk about DIY winning the Tag Team Championships, you know. They defeated A-Town down, and um, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought the tag match was really, really good, you know. This whole entire SmackDown episode was pretty good, you know, because I find it so cool how DIY in the same building where Gargano made his return, and then you had, you know, DIY winning the NXT Tag Team Championships years ago. It's just really, really cool how they not only stated that and brought it up, but they were able to reduplicate that moment here tonight. Then you had the Money in the Bank previews. You know, you had the guys going at it in the opening contest, um, or the opening segment, I should say. You know, Jey Uso, Drew McIntyre, etc., going at it. And to get that one last momentum into the Money in the Bank, uh, Bailey took on Piper Niven and all the women that were involved in the Women's Money in the Bank match. You know, they got involved and stuff like that, beating each other up. And, um, you know, Bailey was able to put away Piper Niven. The Street Profits had a really good opener with um with with the boys, <laughs> um, which was a really good one. Um, pretty deadly. And um obviously Cody and Kevin Owens who cut a you know, a very passionate promo and Randy Orton cut a really good one. Like like I said, overall this is just a really good episode of Friday Night SmackDown heading into Money and heading into money in the bank. So we will definitely see what happens tomorrow um, for sure. So 